Gold Ashanti's Gator Gold Mine is recognised as the leading mining company in Tanzania. We make a significant contribution to Tanzania's economy through a range of taxes, fees and mining royalties. We are also a major employer with a workforce of more than 3,500 people made up of an almost equal number of permanent staff and contractors. And we are proud to say that by 2016 more than 97% of our workforce will be Tanzanian nationals, all helping us to continue our long-term support of Tanzania's economic growth. A key objective of our economic contribution is to promote sustainable development as a way to improve the livelihoods, health, education and environment within our host communities. To this end, we are involved in an increasing number of community-based projects through direct involvement, practical support or sponsorship. These activities are closely aligned to the United Nations Millennium Development Goals of improving access to health, education and infrastructure and range from construction projects to reforestation and HIV AIDS prevention and awareness initiatives. Under our sponsorship, the annual Gator Kili Climb has raised more than three million US dollars since 2003 for the fight against HIV AIDS including support through donations to a number of African-based support agencies for children who have lost their parents to the disease. Closer to home, we have worked with the Gator Regional Authority and the Roman Catholic Diocese of Gator to fund and establish the Heart of Mercy Orphanage Centre. Strictly non-denominational, the centre is now home to more than 80 children who would otherwise have no other form of support. A purpose-built dining hall and recreation centre is the latest addition to the centre. It has been designed to allow it to be hired out, providing the orphanage with additional income and enhancing its sustainability. The centre not only provides a safe and caring living environment, it also encourages the children to complete their education, giving them a head start in the adult world. Providing children with a well-grounded education is vital to Tanzania's future and we are involved in a number of projects designed to enhance the learning experience and help attract and retain valuable teaching staff for our schools. A major Gator Gold educational infrastructure project is the Nyankumbu Girls Secondary School. With a capacity of 900 students, the school is the only girls boarding facility in Gator with significant numbers of the girls studying for O and A levels. The first phase of this project was completed in 2006, with additional work commencing in 2010, consisting of additional classrooms, science laboratories, boarders dormitories, a large multi-purpose hall and housing for teaching staff. As well as providing an excellent learning environment for its students, the school's construction has also created work opportunities for people within the Gator community. The flow-on effect of infrastructure projects is a vital component in creating economic opportunities and we are well aware of the need to be involved in developments that assist the Gator region to become more self-sufficient. To this end, we are constructing the Gator Town Water Supply in partnership with the Tanzanian Government and Gator Regional Authorities. This major infrastructure project will treat water from the Nyankunga Dam in our lease area and transfer it to a storage facility in Gator Town for distribution to Gator residents. Our involvement has been to design and construct the infrastructure, including pipelines and pumping stations, a treatment plant and the Gator storage facility. We will also operate the system for the first 12 months before handing over responsibility to the Gator District Authority. It is expected that the project will have a major impact on health and quality of life in Gator Town. As well as our investment in the water project and support of district hospitals in our regions, we are also working to support better health in the wider community through the provision of fully staffed and funded dispensaries, such as the recently opened Nyakabale dispensary. Healthcare is one of the biggest issues facing rural communities in the Gator district. Travelling to town can be challenging for people who are well, let alone suffering from illness or injury. The Nyakabale complex takes healthcare into the community, 
It consists of a large dispensary building and comfortable homes for the full-time doctor and nurse. The centre is fully equipped with lighting, a modern laboratory, computers and other essential equipment, all powered by a solar energy system. While a relatively modest investment financially, one of our most recognised community health programs is our involvement in the Rafiki Surgical Missions. Life can be very hard for people living with congenital facial deformities, such as cleft lips and palates, of which there is an abnormally high and unexplained incidence in the Gator region. And disfiguring burns injuries are all too common in our remote rural areas. Over the past 10 years, more than 1,000 children and adults have had surgical procedures performed by Australian volunteer surgical teams working at hospitals in Dar es Salaam and Mwanza. The teams repair cleft lips and palates, as well as releasing burns contractures. The Australian surgeons have particular expertise in these types of surgery and are able to share their knowledge with our own medical staff. While many of the operations are relatively simple, Due to the challenges faced by Tanzania's health system, these types of deformities often go untreated, committing the sufferers to a range of health and social difficulties. Gator's community team plays a vital part in the missions. This includes extensive field work in the communities around our mining operations to find the patients and take them to the hospital for their surgery. We also fund their hospital stay and make sure that they get home safely after their treatment. The procedures are carried out at no cost to the patients and available to anyone who needs the help. For the patients and their families, the results can be life-changing. We are constantly hearing stories of the difference the surgery makes. Boys and girls returning to school with a new purpose and a desire to learn. Mothers and fathers letting go of the guilt they felt for their disfigured child. Men and women able to seek employment for the first time or find a partner and start their own families. We believe that the spirit of the Rafiki Surgical Missions underlines Gator Gold's commitment to the community. By being a good corporate citizen, regardless of the life of our mining operations, our communities will be better off for Anglo Gold Ashanti and Gator Gold Mine having been there. <laughs>